So let that be in our minds as we sing our songs. Don't be carried away by the melody. Don't be carried away by the instruments. Remember, it is the words. It is the words that blesses us. It is the words that cause us to be effective in ministry. You know, we are the praise of God. We are the pleasure of God already. So those words now make us to act out God's praise, you know, to show forth God's praise. So let's keep this in mind. Let's not be carried away. Praise God. The words, the words, the words are our priority here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's take up our Bibles. Still singing in tongues. Chapter 5, John chapter 5, verse 39 to 40. Okay, now let's read together. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we can see here that um, the Jews, yes, they were searching the scriptures. But they were searching the scriptures for things. Eternal life is not a bad thing, right? But the thing is that when you search the scriptures, the end point must be Christ. Just like in 2 Timothy 3.15, the summary of the whole scriptures is salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. You know, in Luke 24, verse... 24, Jesus called um, the disciples fools, verse 25 there about, called them fools and slow of heart. Why? They could not believe what the prophets have already written in the scriptures concerning Christ. So, you want to see God, you will not see God just like that. You will not see God in things. All the search to know God will only be found in Christ. Praise God. It is found of Christ. It is Christ that reveals God to us through the scriptures. Okay, finally, let's open to Matthew. Matthew 11. So, men will keep laboring, trying to do things, you know, looking to the scriptures, looking for what to do, how to please God, um, how to be justified before God, all those things, you know, and we saw that in the in the times of Moses, what were they doing? Ceremonies, you know, washings and all that. And yet, they could not be justified. They still had that conscience, that conscience of sin, that sin consciousness. Why? Scriptures must point us to Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Matthew 11, from verse... Um, okay, let's start from 27. All things are delivered... Matthew 11 from verse 27. Please let's read together. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal me. You know, Pastor will always say, the, the man that will understand God, it is the man that Jesus will just, will just him to praise God. So, that labor, you know, then verse 28 now says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That labor to know God, that labor in different things, in things we will never know God in things, but in Christ Jesus. And you know, when Christ came, what happened? We also received the Spirit of God. So we have the Spirit of God in us, we can understand the scriptures, and this is this is what we treasure most. That salvation is not by works. It's by faith alone in Christ Jesus. You know, this we have understood this. We have we have this has been revealed to us through the scriptures. 
and this is a treasure it's more than gold to us eternal life we are found in Christ Jesus it's more than gold to us we, we rejoice in these things praise God that there were times there were times when when they would tell you that um, if you if you lie uh, before God we, we look at you again you, you will take two weeks away from God ah, no that is labor that is labor all those labor is ended in Christ and we are those men we have seen this this is this is treasure to us this is life it's one and gold it's one and gold glory to Jesus this is life to me more than This is life to me, more than gold to me, that I should know the truth about God. This is life to me, this is life to me, more than gold more to me. Than gold to me. Oh, <laughs> 